Worshipping Jesus as your God can never take you to paradise, Pastor Dr. Abel de Amina. Here are some reasons why Jesus is not God and worshipping will never take you to paradise. 1. God cannot be born, Jesus was born, God did not have a beginning and Jesus had a beginning. 2. When God talks about himself in the Bible he is so explicit like in Isaiah 46 verse 9 and Jesus never claimed divinity or said worship me. In John 1 verse 18, also John 5 verse 37 no one has ever seen or heard God but Jesus was seen and heard. 3. Jesus never taught Trinity and it's nowhere to be found in the Bible, can we teach a child the Trinity? It should be easy to explain to any age and any type of people, Jesus went to the temple and worshipped as Jews worship, God showing that he is following Moses. Also the disciples went to the temple and they taught the people. If the disciples taught that Jesus was God they would have been kicked out of the temple. Trinity was man-made after 325 AD at the Council of Nicaea.4. Jesus peace up on him ate, slept and drank. God is not in need of anything to continue his existence, but Jesus ate and slept, drank and even went to the bathroom. God is self-sufficient, but Jesus is not self-sufficient. Jesus cannot be both at the same time. Jesus needed to pray to God. Point five. Jesus claimed that God's knowledge is greater than his. When they asked him about the day and hour, he said no one knows, not the angels, neither the Son, but the Father. Mark 13 verse 32. Even Jesus admitted that God is greater than him. 6. Jesus explicitly stated that he is not God, as in John 17 verse 3, and this is life eternal, that they might know thee the only true God, and Jesus Christ. Whom thou hast sent, that is the Muslim belief that there is no God but Allah and Jesus is his messenger. 7. The word Son of God is an honor according to Jewish. Jacob and Solomon are called the sons of God. Adam is called the Son of God in the New Testament, common people are called the sons of God. If Jesus' miracle of birth could make him a God, then Adam's is more eligible to be a God than Jesus' peace up on them. So God does not die, does not have children, and does not have human needs. 8. God does not change, Mal 3.6, For I am the Lord, I change not, therefore ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. So God cannot be subjected to the same laws which he created, God created time and he is not subjected to time so he does not get old nor sleepy nor tired. He created air and he does not need it done, he created the sun and he does not get hot or cold. So we cannot say that God got into a flesh and became a human and be subjected to time and air and to hunger also be subjected to. Whipped and hurt and beaten, God can do anything that is subjected to his nature, otherwise can we say that God can be unjust? We cannot say God can do things that makes him less than being a God, that is why the Trinity cannot exist. All the time God is one then suddenly he decided to be three. God is so consistent but so the message of salvation has always been that you have to turn to God directly by showing that you are worthy of forgiveness and get good deeds. That's the way it's always been and that's the way it will always be. First thing Jesus will do when he first comes back is to break the crosses. Then kill the pig.9. God is the object of worship. Whoever people call God is the object of worship. It's who they sacrifice to dot it to they give charity in the name of. So if Jesus is God, he would have told people to worship him. That's why he told people in Matthew.15.9, but in vain they do worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. That means that the Trinity is a man's doctrines and commandments, that means worshipping Jesus is in vain. He is not an object to be worshipped.